up guys welcome back to my channel today we are doing a video that seems to be going around again but first welcome back 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 again 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 wearing my doctor ho 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 like okay in a real note in a serious note this doctor ho pain therapy let me know I've been using it for a month now and I'm pretty sure it's been helping. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It feels, the sensation is insane though. Has anyone ever used one of these? The feeling is a little intense. All right, back to my, my agenda here. <laughs> today, today we are going to go through the 10 eyeshadow palettes that I would keep in my freaking arsenal if someone was like okay I'm gonna throw them all out you get to pick 10 like I don't know why someone would do that I don't know what kind of malice you know they're trying to put on me but let's just let's pretend so yes intruder comes in going to burn all of your eyeshadow palettes grab 10 these are the 10 I would pick I've got them behind me here on my desk oh yeah side note new desk um i for my birthday this year which was my 30th i got to get the ikea furniture that i wanted really badly the nearest ikea is like literally an hour and like 10 minutes away from me uh, so it, it's it's a pride day and i drive a um a spark if you know what that is so yeah 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 anyways new desk i will do a video probably at some point once i get everything as organized as i can and yeah anyway 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 let's get into these eyeshadow palettes uh, let's let's go through the list i've got little fluffies i can see oh my gosh i had such a fright yesterday um so we let our cats out um once in a while most of the time in the summer because we started out letting them out and once you start letting a cat out and it enjoys being outside you're screwed you're like you know you're going to have to let them out or they're going to absolutely just drive you absolutely insane so anyway let be out last night yet yeah, no yet yeah, last yesterday morning and it was cold okay like well no it was mild in the morning but it was so freaking cold all day long like minus 15 and i am like where is this freaking cat now he's a notorious cat he is a wild one sometimes like he, i have had him go for like 12 to 15 hours and then come back like hey how's it going and i'm like great thanks thanks let me worry about you and be stewing all night long so he comes back at about one o'clock in the morning and this is like a, almost 24 hours after he went out just like hey how's it going thought i'd come back he's sleeping on my freaking couch right now like what oh my gosh anyway let's get into these eyeshadow palettes thank you for listening to my story <laughs> okay so in no particular order i have a couple drugstore um, I have blah, 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 a lot of high-end and one that I feel bad about adding because it's super new, but oh, it's good. Anyway, first one here is, dun, 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 I'm trying to get it open. Oh, look at how beautiful. This is the Huda Beauty Neon Obsession in the orange. Am I right? Orange? Are you the orange one? I'm pretty sure. I have the pink one as well. It's actually right here. But this one is like, some of these colors look exactly the same. Oh, sorry. They look exactly the freaking same. So it's really hard for me to want to have this one when there's another one that like has that and more that I have next. Well, not next, but in, in this row. Anyway, this is the neon in orange these are so beautiful like they are top notch the shimmers they're more like toppers but honestly it's the mattes that i'm crazy for in these palettes even the pink one see the shimmers are nice and they can be built up but oh my gosh oh 
the mattes are just heavenly and so bright very pigmented really easily blended i really am liked these little palettes and yeah so i want to keep this one number one next one ooh, i love this palette and actually i could probably pull off doing a pretty similar look to the one i have on today with this palette this is the smoke session palette by melt cosmetics this is so adorable. I did a whole review on this. I think this is the nicest. Oh, now the only thing about this that I didn't love was that the shimmers are a little, little, little bit thick and blending them together. No, but oh, I love it. I love it. I love the colors. Oh my gosh, this gold, everything's so pretty. Oh, you know what? There is something very, give me one second. Oh, I have a question. Okay. Sneak peek. I bought the Melt, which one is this? The Mer Mer Myrta? Myrta palette. And this Angel Angelito, Angelito shade at the very end of the palette. Ooh, it's it's pretty much the exact same formula, I think as the smoke session the shimmers feel a lot alike that's what i'm wearing on my eyes today is the Mer merta palette then we have sweet tooth mm, no they're not exactly alike i don't think but super similar this is sweet tooth in the smoke session palette this one right here and then I've got them both on my fingers right here. Let's do a little swatchy swatch. One's just the tiniest bit greener. Oh goodness, super, super close in shade. That's nice to know. But yes, the Smoke Session palette is one of my favorite palettes. I love this color on my eyes. I don't know what it is. It's so bright, it's so stark. I love it and I can definitely create quite a few green looks from this palette. I tried to cover all my bases so like let's say if I literally could not get another eyeshadow palette you know forever I guess you know I could do a lot of looks with the 10 that I picked. So yes smoke session number two. Oh this chair and my floor is squeaking. Okay so had to cover my neutral bases because I knew that honestly as much as I love doing colorful looks there are lots of times where neutral looks are just something that I do um you know like if I want to do a really beautiful bold lip I want to do a neutral eye essentially I don't know why I don't know why that's a thing but people think it's just way too stark and they're like damn girl like ugh, judgmental anyway two palettes that I really like that are cheap. These are actually, well, the Milani is a little up there and honestly, it's a little up there for like, not, it is good quality. It's not that it's not good quality. Whew, that was just the Dr. Ho machine. Oh my goodness, that scared me. Uh, anyway, Milani, oh yeah, you can't see that at all. This is the Milani Soft and Sultry. This is a just strictly cool toned neutral palette and the shadows are really nice. I love that they have some shimmers. Now the shimmers are, I don't know, they're, they're not majorly impactful, but I do have a palette in here that has a few neutral shimmers that are bomb. And I really like that there are some really dark shades in here. The mattes work really nicely. They build really well. Ooh, they are really smooth to the touch too. Oh, I love when, like the Anastasia shadows are not that smooth to the touch, but they blend so beautifully. These ones are really smooth. They can be built and I think I've done, I think I've done some stuff on this. I can't remember if I did a video or not on this, but either way, 
pretty good find, a little expensive, but one that I would keep. And then this one, this is the Matte Eyeshadow Pro Palette by Hard Candy. I think you can still get this. I'm not sure. I got mine at Walmart. This I got at Shoppers for Canadian girls out there that are trying to look for this stuff. I got this one at Walmart. Walmart is a hard candy, like, you know, um, usually I can find a lot of new stuff from them at my Walmart. My Walmart sucks for makeup, though. Like, sucks. So, anyway. I like this a lot and it covers my bases for a lot of different things. There, I love this row. This is probably my favorite row. This really warm, warm row because this red is really, this brick, super pretty. But you can also do like a grayish row. Um, there's lots of pinky neutrals. There's a plum and these build like beautifully. Actually, I think I like these a little bit more than I actually like the Milani, but I love that this is so cool toned and even the shimmers are cool toned in this one. And it has like your really light shade that you can like buff all over the eyes. Like that is something that I love about this. But then again, like if you're one person, you're not going to go through all of that. But I love that for my eyeshadow looks. Like, I did the same thing today. I took the Wet n Wild Brulee, and because, like, I have so much space up here, I want it to look as blended as possible. So I, you know, I'll put, like, you know, a, a, a skin-toned or a lighter powder up there so that it's nicely blended, yada, yada, yada. Anyways, two really good palettes from the drugstore, and I think that, you know, these can stay. These will stay. All right, let's grab this one. So I was looking through and I got to my Juvia's Place palettes as I was looking through my collection. And I was like, wow, like I want all of them. Like I want all of them. I think that they're all really, really awesome. And there are shades like, oh man, I was talking about this in my Tati video. I love having my makeup right beside me so I can just pull it out and be like, hey, this is what I'm talking about. Anyway, I picked the Zulu palette. Long story short, I really love this palette. I I dig into this palette. When I was like first trying Juvia's Place, oh, this was like my colorful, just love of my life. Anyway, so I would keep this one for sure. And there's some colors in here that like this yellow, so freaking pigmented and the purple is really pretty. This green shimmer, like, come on, come on, come on. We all know that that's amazing. Anyway, people talk about these to death, I think. And so I think that sometimes now they're getting weird hype. I don't know. I love Juvia's Place. I think that their products are really, really good. But I have not placed an order in a while. There are some palettes I want to get, but I'm like, oh, do I need them? I don't know. Anyway, this is the, um, this is the mini, um, oh, what's it called? Masquerade. Okay. This shade right here, this is Bori Bori. This is a pink with gold, I just put my finger in another shade, I'm getting eyeshadow all over myself. <laughs> this is a pink with gold shimmer. And this was like the first matte eyeshadow that had shimmer in it that I fell so deeply in love with. And that's what made me like, I think that's what made me like the Tati Beauty palette as much as I did because I was like, oh my gosh. This is exactly like that. And I used to try and pack that all over my lid. That color is really difficult and will stain your lids. So be careful if you're going to do that. Anyway, so next palette. This is limited edition. I don't think any of the other ones are. No, no, they're not. Okay. This is limited edition. You can't get this anymore. Well, you could, but I don't know where. <sighs> This is the Urban Decay, this, what did they call this? Aftershock, I think, or something like that. Gosh, I can't remember. It came in, oh, that does not sound well. I know you can only take it out one way. There we go. These shimmers are so pretty. This is such a pretty palette, and if you were gonna burn down all of my palettes, I would wanna keep this one. This has like very nostalgic, vibes this was like it, my f one of my first like big palette purchases if that makes sense Ugh. 
And I love the shimmers, and I think that this is a good palette. It has so many pretty shimmers. Um, it's all shimmers, but they're like, there's a colorful kind of row, and then there is a neutral. And when you wet these, oh my goodness, I gotta use these again. I Nobody watches throwbacks anywhere, anymore, but I want to pull this out and use it because the shimmers are so pretty in here. So yeah, I'd like to keep this palette plus... But the, oh, see, and that's what I mean. The packaging is bull crap. I hate it, but I love the palette itself. Okay. Controversy. So I'm looking through my palettes and I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm looking. And I'm like, what is something that I really like, you know, really love and would want to keep? Oh, don't kill me. Please, shield from all the hate. I really, please, I'm so sorry. I want to keep the Toddy Beauty palette. I know, it's like, this is supposed to be like, you know, ones that you can recommend and blah, blah, blah. And I would recommend this, honestly. If you like neutrals and you want something interesting to play with, oh, so nice. But I feel like people are going to shade me because I haven't had it for very long. I think I've only had it for like three weeks. I've already done my review. Um, I love it. I love Tati and I think that I'm so excited for new stuff that she comes out with, but, um, yeah, I want to keep it. Please don't shield me from your hate. Um, if you want to see swatches, one, you can go to Tati or you can go to my video. I did do like swatches of this whole palette and I did a look with it and I talked about it, talked about all the shades and what I thought of all the formulas and blah, 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 blah. So yeah. All right. Let's, let's continue. Three palettes left. Okay, these two. Okay. Mm. So, I'm a Canadian, and I refuse to pay, like, high shipping costs. And in a lot of these places, you sometimes you got to pay the high shipping costs to get it shipped to Canada. So, I was talking to, oh, I've told this story before I know it. I was talking to a girl that I talked to online and she was talking about winners and I went to winners and I was in heaven. Not only could I get my hands on like BH Cosmetics, but I also could get my hands on Lime Prime. There was so much like name brand, like I've gotten Kat Von D stuff, like just to name a few, cause I do actually have a few things that I got from winners right here beside me. But I got the uh, Kat Von D, this is the Alchemy palette. This is so beautiful. I also got the Too Faced Coco Contour palette. I like this. It, I don't have a full, the pop of light is weird, but it, regardless, another thing I picked up. Do I have anything else that's like right here that I, no, I don't. No, we don't. But regardless, I've picked up quite a few things from winners. Just wondering if there's, oh yes, you know what? I also got this. This is the Kat Von D um, Shade and Light Contour Cream Palette. I like this. It's a little bit thick, but I also got that from Winners. Anyways, I also got these two, okay? Now, if you have noticed, I don't know, I don't know if it's easy to notice because I think that a lot of the time when I'm creating looks just for me, I don't really take pictures of them. Either way, I love pinks and burgundies. And that is just a realm where I stay very comfortable. And yeah, like people at work, even like I've had people that will like bet and be like, oh, I bet you'll be wearing pink today. So that's why I love these, I think. These are the Lime Crime Venus XL. Oh, this one especially. This is a heavenly pinky oh, rose palette. I think the colors get a little distorted in this kind of brightness. Murmur, murmur, murmur. Yeah, no, it's a little distorted, but these are very bright. Like this one, you can't really tell how bright it actually is, but it's so pretty. And I fell in love with their formula. Their mattes are really beautiful and blendable and they're not super soft, but they don't have to be. Like, I don't know, people have different formulas. Now they have a lot of shimmers that are very satiny and their metallics aren't 
aren't super metallic but like look at that that went on for freaking days so if you're looking for some like really blinging metallics not not usually what they offer in these palettes um there's a few mattes that have that like glitter in it and i really love the fresca it's like a matte beige with gold glitter a lot of the time they just pick gold glitter i wonder why that is anyway i want to keep this one it's really beautiful and i've done some stunning looks with it if i do so, so myself and then this one i had to actually think about because I loved that one a little bit more than this one, but I think it's just because, I don't know, I don't know, but I, I do like the, the mattes in here, like they have a little bit of green and pink, and I think this is just such a beautiful color story, it like reminds me of like a, I don't know, like very like ivy yes like that shade ivy that's like you know the mystical you know fairy dust oh i love this palette guys i'm sorry i have to pick this palette too i don't know if i would use this as much as some of the other palettes but it's so pretty like it's so freaking pretty and it just brings me joy to like look at it and it's got some duochromes because that's what I was thinking about as well is like ooh, do I have any duochromes like for the inner corner or like lighter shades that look really pretty you know tucked in there and they have a radiant which is a pink duochrome and then they also have is there another one this one lo locust which is your like green brown duochrome yeah, anyway, so yeah, second to last palette. Ooh, we got palette mountain going on over here, and I am just like, please, please. <laughs> last palette. Okay, so I needed some colorful mattes, and I was like, how am I going to cover all my bases with like most color stories and still know that it is pretty good quality and I can make it work for looks for whatever reason either you know you know what I mean oh I love this palette though it's awesome like honestly if you get your hands on it it is good this is the Morphe 35B palette this is so pretty guys like honestly I can get so many freaking looks out of this now they do go into the warms a little bit more than the cools but you have greens you have purples you have blues you have like, there's there's potential for days now the shimmers aren't all that great honestly I could pass on the shimmers it's the mats that I'm worried about honestly I you know I picked some palettes like strictly for the shimmers because they were so pretty and I knew that I could you know continue to use both palettes together anyways this yellow actually works really good but I think I picked another yellow in there anyway oh yeah the Zulu palette see I was thinking ahead not even knowing it but yeah anyway that is the last palette I feel like I talked for days but I feel a little more calm in this room and a little more you know good my my husband's office it's just dreary in there and yeah I'm not I'm not into it so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this new setup and I'm sure it will kind of switch around a little bit but I love having my makeup right here so I can just pull out and show you guys stuff that is cool anyway I love you guys so so much and thank you for watching my battery is about to die and I'm going to film another video today so yeah Mwah. love you guys bye